everyone, welcome to the next um, colouring picture from our Agatha Pop um, page. We have a very pretty um, Christmas tree ornament here to colour. I'm going to do the greens um, for the holly to start with. I'm going to use a different colour combination than I have for the other hollies. We've done two lots so far and they've both been different. I think it's nice to mix it up a little bit. Um, yeah, oops. <laughs> I'm going to start with the deep cobalt green and um, use it for the bottom of the holly and then we'll add in some other greens as well. So this is a rather pretty, they all are really aren't they, really pretty picture. I'm going to try and fade it a little bit now, less layers as we go towards the tip, really sort of almost fade it to nothing. Like that. And I'm going to just go back over, trying to make sure we don't have a line where the colour ends. And then onto this one. So we call these ball balls. Um, you may have heard me use that word before. I know not everybody has that word. <laughs> um, but uh, tree ornament is uh, obviously everybody will know what I mean. So that's good. And uh, there we go, that's the first bit of green. Now I'm going to switch to a slightly lighter green. Uh, um, I'm just trying to find what I want. I want the uh, the thallo green, here it is. The thallo green, it's a sort of bluey green as well. So I think it will work well together. Whoops, out of the line she goes. With uh, with this one that's here already, so I'm going over the top of what's there. Just a little bit helps with the blending. And if I've missed any bits like there, it'll uh, just cover them over, which is always good. I've got cold feet today. Feels like there's a draft. There isn't, so I don't know. <laughs> Feet are all sensitive to being cold. We're going through a little bit of a cold spell at the minute, so uh, my sister lives a further north than I do, so it gets colder there. She said she had to scrape snow off her car this morning before she went out, which is pretty amazing. Whereas uh, we, our car wasn't even frosty. I don't really understand why. I'm just going to erase that little bit where I went wrong. It may not erase very well, but I'm just going to give it a go because I don't want my ribbon to be green. There we go. And now I'm just going to go back in with that dark green just on that edge. There, yeah, I'm happy with that. Now on this side we have um, some... Um, leaves as well and I think we should keep those to a sort of bluey green like that one so I'm going to use the uh, chrome oxide green fiery he's a bit of a mouthful <laughs> and uh, it may be the only colour I use for these just try and take only a gentle layer out to the tip I used the same technique yesterday with this um, shape of leaf, it's very pretty. There we go, just keep it really simple. Now, I've got to sort of think about what colour we're going to do this and this. It's all got to match. It's very tempting to just dive in with a red ribbon, and then I might think, well, what colour is this going to be? I think we will do a red ribbon, and I think we'll do this gold. That'll be fun. So let's choose a, let's have a look, what have we got? Let's go from middle cadmium red to do the um, darker parts of the ribbon. Just give him a sharpen. Here we go. So this is middle cadmium red. And I'm going to do under here first. This would be really dark in here so I'm going to layer it up a lot and do a little bit less as I come out from that 
it would be really shadowy and dark in there like that and then we we'll think about all the other bits so here it'd be a bit darker coming down here and the same on this one and in under here there'd be some shadow The same on this side. Now I showed you on um, the first um, one of these that I coloured that I'd, someone had very kindly gifted me a lot more of these. Um, these this page is free, but uh, there's a page you can buy and she bought me some. So uh, I am going to be, I'm really looking forward to doing those. I'm just trying to choose my next colour. This one, I don't know what it is, it's too small. I'm just going to sharpen it and look it up. It's number 223, deep red. Okay. And uh, I might try the others with my Prismas. Think could be interesting. I don't know how well they sit on this paper because it's quite um, um, what's the word? Slick. I don't know if that will work, but I'll give it a try. Oops, I can always um, change to a different pencil once I've done the first one. At the minute it's a bit tricky for me to get my prismas out because um, I've got an, my lamp is away being repaired and so I've got another lamp on my desk and it's just in the way. I'm just going to erase this bit here where it went too dark when the pencil broke. There, that's better. Yeah, so, uh, so, um, yeah, I haven't got room. There's Prismas, there's so many of them. This was the main drawback for me when I was trying to decide whether to get them, was like, where am I going to keep them all? And I know a lot of you will say, oh, I put them into um, put them into a slipcase and then I can just flip them over and take out the ones I want, etc. I don't know if I'm just really lazy, but I find it such a hassle taking them in and out of those little elastic slips. They seem to either be too tight or too loose and I just find them a nuisance. So uh, unfortunately it's not really what I'm, the solution I'm looking for. So uh, anyway, but I will, um, I'm hoping to get my lap back soon. They said they would rush it through for me, but uh, don't know I tried to chase it today on the website you could put in the serial number of your product and your reference code and it said they couldn't find it so <laughs> it was a bit of a worry I haven't got around to chasing them up right I'm going to grab a cold grey three next and um, do this little bit here this little bit here is where um is the sort of bit that joins the hook onto the ornament and I'm going to put down a fair bit of grey next to the ribbon and then less and leave a little white gap to try and make it look like it's silvery it's a really small area to play with but that's my aim okay now the main bubble as I said I'm going to do it in gold um, what should we start with? Let's start with this. Let's start with our unburned umber. And basically I am going to start with my darkest colour on the outside. I'm going to completely ignore the patterning for now. We will um, do something with it after. Okay, so we're going to put down a dark outline. I'm just trying to think about exactly where it needs to go, whether I think we'll put a bit there as well. And I'm going to just fade it in a bit all the way around. I 
because what you don't want is a line of colour and then a line of another colour. You want to fade it a bit and then they can blend or mix together. Okay, my next colour is more of a mid-brown. Um, I think I'm going to use the brown ochre actually. I don't know how well you can see. I need to complain to Faber Castell, ask them to uh, make their pencils more readable on video. <laughs> I know some people take a lot of time putting the names up on the screen. It's I don't know how to do that with my. Well, I do actually, but it would be really tricky it would take too much more too much more time than I have basically I'd be able to give you a video a week if I was doing that it would take so long to edit so uh, I can't do it okay um green gold next see that one works it depends on the color of the barrel I'm going back over what I've done already I find it helps the blend if you do that. I'm making sure that I fade it down so that we're ready to blend with our next colour. We've still got a couple to go. Even though we're using one called gold, it isn't the colour I want yet. Right. Oh, I've got an itchy eye, bear with me a minute. Okay, next we are going to use the Naples Yellow. Oh, might be able to stay there. Maybe. Again, right over the top of all of it. And then bring it in a bit. It's still quite a sort of dull brownish yellow, this colour. But our last yellow will hopefully brighten it all up. I do have to just wipe my nose first, so you're going to have to wait a minute. Sorry. Uh, it always wants to run in the middle of a video. Um, this is the light cadmium yellow. And we're going to use it all over. But we're still going to leave a little bit of white in the middle. And then it will hopefully continue to look like it's shining, catching the light. I'm colouring so fast that my pencils are rattling. I don't know if you can hear them. <laughs> Quite funny. I'm just going over this really well because I want it to look vibrant. Okay, now we are going to use a Jelly Roll Stardust pen. Gold sparkly glitter pen. You can use any gold sparkly glitter pen. This is number 703. And I'm going to go over all of the line. I'm not going to go around the edge because that isn't a piece of decoration. I'm going to try and make all the decorative bits look like they were put on with a line of glitter. I've seen baubles that look like this. Well, not identical to this, but they have their patterns on in glitter. Usually not the same colour as the bauble, but I think I want to stick with the gold. Sometimes you get them with 
like a red bauble with white glitter or silver glitter or something like that. This is just my sort of interpretation. And I think that's it. I'm just going to turn my head to the light. In fact, I'll turn the, turn the thing to the light. Try and see. That bit looks like it needs a bit more. And that one. Yep, I think that's that. So again, you can't see very well. There we go. You can see there. So there is a very shiny um, gold um, decoration. So you can see when I tip it to the light, the pencil goes very um, pale, but you can see the shine of the glitter. So there is our um, glittery um, bauble. And we have our last one to do tomorrow. So thank you very much for joining me. Um, have a lovely day and happy colouring.